Hello, girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with another Table Talk Thursday. As per usual, we are pulling from our Table Topics Cube. Um, the link is down below if you would like to get one similar to this. Um, they don't, I think, make this uh, style anymore, but they make ones that are similar if you so choose to get one. Uh, while you're down there, make sure you hit up the Patreon link and... Uh, and the eBay link that is also down below. Ask for discounts. I will grant them if they are reasonable. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get to today's topic, which is, would you leave the country or go to jail to avoid fighting in a war you disagreed with? This is one that, um, oh, I, I have a lot of back and forth on. If you had an honest objection to a war, um, should you, like, the question is whether or not you're talking about the draft. Uh, you know, we shouldn't be asking people to go and, and fight and die, um, without any type of volunteering to do so. Um, you know, you, you don't get as good of a result from that, um, as we've seen through the draft and whatnot, it, it's not, um, it, it doesn't pan out to be good for the, the war in general. Um, certainly it's worked in, you know, in World War II and World War I, whenever the, the draft was implemented, but by and large, um, yeah, no, it, we, I don't think we really drafted that many during those times as far as, uh, in the scale that we did with Vietnam, but I, I don't think I would, I don't think I would leave the country. And I don't think I would go to jail. I, I don't know what I would do. This is really a difficult one that I don't know if I feel comfortable, uh, answering really, because being a military member, it's, you know, yeah, there's sometimes going to be, uh, instances where, you know, you are called to go, and do something that you really don't think you should be doing. Um, and this is something that during the, the, uh, the former administration, uh, the, the one from 2016 to, uh, that ended in 2020, uh, or with, with the 2020 election, uh, it ended in, no, started in 2017, uh, ended in 2021. I'm sorry, getting my dates mixed up there. Uh, you all know the, the administration I'm talking about. Um, he who must not be named. Um, this is something that I feared because I was on active duty and there was, um, th there were several times whenever it looked like, hey, he's going to get us into another war and it's going to be over something stupid and, and this and that. But you know what? And I'll give him this. He didn't get us involved in another war. We were on the brink a few times, but um, didn't get us into another war. Instead, just like, you know, um, snuggled up to fascists and whatnot. So, yeah, I mean, maybe he kept us out of war, but... I don't know how comfortable I feel about our commander and and chief being, uh, you know, in bed with fascists, but okay. Anyway, moving on from that, um, I don't, I honestly don't know what I would do in this situation. Uh, if called, you know, my, my oath to the country is that I would go and fight, but I, I don't know, like if it was something so immorally wrong I don't know how I would, how I would react. Uh, it would be something that uh, would take a lot more contemplation than the four minutes that I've been on here so far. So yeah, it's, ah, it, it just gives me the willies even, uh, even thinking about it. I mean, certainly there's a lot of people that would say, you know, I'll, I'll leave the country, but you know, my, my family's been in this country for the better, like, better part of 200 years, um, well, actually over 200 years, uh, parts of my family have been here. So, I mean, it, we've had roots established in this country. I, I don't know where I would go. Um, you know, that, that's, that's incredibly difficult to even think of, you know, picking up and moving and starting off from nothing. I, I, I honestly 
cannot fathom how people from other countries do it. I, I, I can't wrap my head around it. And, you know, I, I realize that I'm, I'm coming from a place of privilege where I don't ever have to think about that. That's never been really a thought. I mean, could I reestablish myself in another country and, you know, pull myself up by the bootstraps? Possibly. But, you know, would I be willing to give up everything from here? Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. To keep from fighting in a war, it, it would take a lot more than, like I said, the six minutes now that I'm going on rambling about this. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you leave the country or go to jail to avoid fighting in a war you disagreed with? Um, I think it would depend on what the, the situations I disagreed with were and why we were going and whatnot. So, yeah. <sighs> Keep in mind, I, I was in Iraq, so, yeah, there, there's plenty of things looking back now on what we found out after the fact, or what I was told after the fact, um, about, you know, about why we're really, we were really there, but after we were there, we we kind of had a, an obligation and whatnot. So, yeah, I mean, gosh, dang. Way to hit home there, table, to or table topics. Okay, well, that's all that I have for today. A very uncomfortable discussion. You can probably see it in my body language, the amount of moving around I'm doing. Uh, this is just a very uncomfortable topic. And uh, I'd like to end the video now, please. Uh, here's the patrons on Patreon. They're scrolling uh, on the screen right now. And until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye.